I know what we're all here for. Let's be real, we're here for the squat test, so I'm gonna give that to y'all, okay? You know damn well this is not gonna pass. I'll turn to the back here in a second, but it's a little bit wrinkly down here. It's a little bit loose as well. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I've sat here and actually filmed a YouTube video. The reason why this review is going up a little bit later than normal is because I had a sty in my eye and it lasted, I mean, 24 hours. Thank God, because whenever I was Googling it, it said that it would last around one to two weeks and I was like, oh, but we're good now. So <laughs> today's video is for the very highly anticipated Paragon Fitwear Heat Wave Collection launching on Thursday, May 2nd at 1 p.m. Central Time. The colors in this collection are absolutely insane, you guys. I'm shook, to say the least. So let's just get right into it. This is the part where I talk about early access and how pertinent it is to sign up for it prior to launch. According to the team, this is the first launch in which they have increased stock pretty exponentially. I'm excited to see what that actually looks like on launch day, but just to be safe, go ahead and sign up for early access. It'll do you no harm and <laughs> it grants you access an hour before everybody else. You can shop with less stress. Um, than if you were to do so an hour later. Let's go ahead and move on to the actual colorways that are coming out in this collection. First and foremost, guys, we have this amazing hot pink colorway called Crush. This colorway is brighter than Buff Bunny Collection's Miami Vice Pink, which again is just so insane because I've never found a hot pink that is more vibrant than that pink from Buff Bunny Collection. But Paragon Fitwear did it, guys. The dyes and the colors in this collection are actually so bright, so in your face and crazy that whenever I wore Mega to the gym, I wore the matching set. I had to wear white on top just to kind of like break it up a little bit because it was a little bit crazy, but yeah. A true hot pink, guys. With that being said, next up we do have Miss Mega, which is a true like highlighter yellow. It does have undertones of like lime green though, especially in the color comparisons that I'm putting up right here for you guys to see. She is bright, brighter than charged from Buff Bunny Collection, which again is so crazy because I don't typically wear neons at all. It's just not, you know, a color palette that I personally gravitate to, but when I do, it's to make a statement. And for the longest time, Charged from Buff Bunny Collection was the brightest, most vibrant highlighter yellow. But alas, once again, Paragon has her beat. Moving on, we have a couple blues that are coming out, starting off with Poolside, which is this like, I don't know, poolside type of color. It is so vibrant, but according to their website, on the product description, it literally says that these shorts and leggings are sheer. So I don't know. I just don't see why we would ever launch something that is that sheer. For example, Buff Bunny collection. It's just the most recent thing, right? For Catherine's collection, they just did not launch Afterglow Yellow in the Legacy 6-inch shorts because they were like, it doesn't pass our quality standards of sheerness, and so we're just not going to launch it until we can actually perfect the sheerness of these leggings. And a lot of people were disappointed by that because they wanted to determine, you know, what their comfort levels were in terms of things being sheer or not. Whereas, in my opinion, I feel like if leggings are as sheer as what you're about to see in poolside, we should just not launch them. Like, I just don't think we should launch them because I feel like people are just gonna return it. It's just not gonna be good for anybody. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments though. Do you think we should just launch leggings this year anyway? Just put a disclaimer on the site and have people do as they wish or do you think we should just not launch them at all? The debate has yet to be settled. But anywho, the last color that we have to show is going to be Miss High Dive. It's more of a sky blue colorway. It's not really giving slate blue at all, but it's a good blue, you know? I'll put some color comparisons up here for you guys to see. And last but not least, we do have a neutral. So we have Miss Coconut. I didn't put all of the browns that I have in my closet in this color comparison here. Just a couple to show you guys similar colorways, but it's a good little neutral brown, kind of like a chestnutty brown as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the fabrics that are launching. We have two fabrics. First and foremost, let's talk about Rec Stretch. I've talked about this fabric time and time again on my channel. It is extremely thin, lightweight performance fabric that just molds to your body, hugs you in all the right ways. And the leggings do come with Sculpt Seam Plus which is a hidden scrunch that looks scrunched from the outside, but once you actually put it on, it stretches out. It is my favorite iteration of sculpt seam by far. Like, I wear my rec stretch pieces so freaking much, you guys. It's truly become one of my favorite, if not my favorite, performance fabric to wear from any brand that I've worked with. I hate wearing performance fabrics. I typically gravitate towards brushed or seamless fabrics because performance fabrics are always way too, like, high compression. They're slippery and slick, and they actually slide down on me, personally. Whereas, even 
even though Rex Stretch is slippery, slick, it does not slide down at all, stays put. If anything, it just molds to you even better whenever you're training in it, and it's very, very feather light. So yeah, I always have good things to say about Rex Stretch, but moving on. Once again, we have Miss Cloud Rib, which is what I'm wearing right now. So the way that Paragon Fitwear describes this is that it is a light ribbed texture fabric that's breathable, very stretchy, perfect for daily wear and mid impact workouts. I would agree with everything other than mid impact workouts because to me, this fabric is giving lounge wear okay like it is so thin so lightweight it does kind of have like a little bit of brushness to it like very very slight guys don't think that this is like reluna or nubri or butter at all like the brushness is very very mild and it's just overall super soft it is very cooling as well extremely low compression in my opinion with the pieces that i have to share with you guys today i would solely wear this to lounge run errands wearing athleisurely instead of working out because i just don't think it'll hold up well and it slides on me a lot but we will get to that whenever we get to that the leggings in cloud rib also come with sculpt seams so it's just going to be the elastic in the back rise seam it's not going to look scrunched from the outside at all it just gives mild glute separation without being like an actual wedgie fit like sculpt seam plus is now let's talk about the pieces that are actually launching starting off with rec stretch we have the legend brahmi making a comeback we also have a new <laughs> pair of shorts guys. Paragon Fitwear has listened to us and are giving us six inch shorts. Not only that, they have pockets and sculpt seam plus. Dude, I, I couldn't be happier. I need every single freaking colorway that this has because it's hands down my favorite short from Paragon Fitwear, period. And I'm typically not a pockets gal, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the contour detailing on the side or something, but it just looks so much more flattering. Like I'm just so happy. So we have six inch shorts coming out with pockets. And then we also have that in a legging version. Had to pick it up in a staple black as well as the coconut colorway. Last but not least, if you're just not a fan of pockets, then we also have the original Sculpt Seam Plus legging making a restock and obviously launching in these newer colors. Next up, we have the Cloud Rib pieces. So first and foremost, a new bra. It's called the Defy bra and it has a super open back, which is really surprising for Paragon Fitwear actually because I feel like they opt for more staple, basic top silhouettes, but the Defy bra is a little bit crazy for them, but I love it though. So we have a new bra coming out as well as a vital crop. So just another iteration of the classic crop that we've seen before but in this new fabric. We also have the original Sculpt Seam legging in Cloud Rib as well as a five inch short. And last but not least, we obviously have the strappy Sculpt Seam play suit. And y'all heard that right. This play suit does have Sculpt Seam in it. So cheek separation, we love to see it. We have the Heat Wave pump cover as well. It's a 100% cotton oversized tee. I'm not too crazy about Paragon Fitwear's pump covers as of like the ones that I've seen so far from Candyland and now Heat Wave because it just kind of is giving like merch, but to each their own, but we do have pump covers, guys. All that to say, if you end up finding this review helpful, then code Tracy saves you 10% off as always. Helps my relationship with the Paragon Fitwear team and keeps these reviews going. I will go ahead and put my measurements somewhere up here on the screen. And then of course I will put timestamps down there as well as the size that I picked up too. I'm gonna start off with the rec stretch pieces and then make my way over to cloud rib. So starting off, we have the legend Brahmi. Once again, making a comeback. I'm wearing her in the color Mega. I also have it in the color Crush as well, both in a size extra small, which is my preferred size. I have tried on a size small before in the Prism collection. So I'll insert that review somewhere up here for you guys to see. But overall, I feel like I do prefer a size extra small because I feel a little bit more held in. Not that anything is like tight or digging in at all. This fabric is extremely stretchy, although a size small was just more comfortable. I would say to stick true to size for sure, but if you're in between sizes, you truly, truly could go either or. It just depends on your preference of whether you're wanting this to be a little bit more held in and snug to your body, or if you're wanting it to be more so for like a comfort piece. If you have a short torso, this could easily double as like a little tank top. Although whenever I wore this to the gym the other day, I just rolled it up underneath the elastic band. And then alas, you have a short Lined bra. I feel really good held in. Nothing is too tight. Nothing is digging into me at all. It does have these super stretchy straps up top, removable cup pads. And again, it does have a built-in shelf bra. This is still going to be a solid, like moderate, light to moderate compression on me. I'm not going to be doing any like jumping movements or running in this 
at all. It's solely used for weight training or just running errands. Here is your little gait test. I'm not even looking because I'm not, I'm not worried, you guys. I'm not worried in this, <laughs> in this size. So we are good to go there. Turning to the back, you just have these two straps coming back and meeting in the middle right there, coming down to the bottom band. No adjustability. The straps aren't digging in. They are very, very stretchy and nothing is like hurting my traps at all. No digging in my lats either, which is why I'm saying that you really could go either or with this sizing. Next up, the start of the freaking show, you guys, are going to be the Empower Sculpt Seam Plus 6 inch pocket shorts. I'm wearing this any color crush in a size extra small and I also have mega and an extra small to show you guys as well. These are probably my favorite short that Paragon Fitwear has ever done just because I think that the addition of these contour details to like line the pockets are so so flattering but it still has a high-waisted waistband that has three layers in them so once again it's double lined so there's no seam at the top at all but the middle has a little mesh layer to just keep you a little bit more held in and I actually didn't really like how Paragon Fit wears waistbands were always so thick but I have grown to love them because I feel like the extra mesh layer on the inside right here allows for you to have just the slightest bit more lower tummy control. This is still giving like a moderate compression for sure. It's not gonna cinch you in or anything, but it's not gonna be falling off of you either. I've never had any issue with rec stretch shorts like riding down on me at all. There are pockets on both sides, but the top does have a seam on it right there just to like keep everything held in, but I don't feel like it's super bulky or anything. Let me just go ahead and, you know, test this pocket out for you guys to see if my phone can fit in there. There you go. Boom, we'd love to see it. 11 Pro Max with the case and she could fit in there just fine. And then here's what the stretch is looking like in the legs. You have ample amounts of stretch, you guys. Like red stretch shorts are never going to dig in on you. And I'm so glad that we had the inseam increased by an inch because the five inch version of these do ride up on me just because the material itself is so, so thin. That's not to say that these don't roll up. Like as we can see here, they definitely do. But it's not gonna be a point to where like you're afraid that booty chicken is gonna be hanging out. We definitely have a couple inches down there to cover your cheeks. So this is what the length is looking like prior to me squatting versus afterwards. And if we turn to the back, you have that super tapered glute seam and then Sculpt Seam Plus is doing its magic. So once again, just to refresh our memories, this is what Sculpt Seam Plus looks like. So it's just gonna look like a scrunch from the outside, but once you actually stretch it out, then the scrunch becomes invisible, AKA like this. I'm telling you, man, I don't know what it is maybe it's just the like contour details on the side or something but my glutes look fire in this like I'm so here for this, y'all. Stick true to size or size down if in between because this fabric is just so, so stretchy. I know what we're all here for. Let's be real, we're here for the squat test, so I'm gonna give that to y'all, okay? Nude thong, let's do this squat test. I already did this in front of a mirror prior to doing this video, and I remember this being super opaque, which is so crazy because cotton candy, bubble gum, they, <laughs> they weren't it, sis, but this is looking good, guys. I mean, once you put the Macy's gift card in, I feel like that's a different story. I would just say to wear a nude thong and you will really be just fine because you can't see anything here. Whereas again, in Kinney land, you could see everything. Guys, I'm actually super happy with how this color is turning out for squat proofness because it is completely opaque for me just wearing like a nude thong. Next up we have Mega. So this was the color that I was the most scared about. I actually almost didn't even pick these up because I was like, oh my gosh, if mint chip was freaking sheer, then Mega is definitely like not good to go. But y'all can't see my nude thong in the front. A win is a win. Turning to the back, like this is strange though because I feel like it's kind of playing optical illusions on our minds. This pocket's already double lined. It has a seam up top right here. And then you also have the lining for the rest of the short underneath. So it truly is like triple lined. So this looks a lot more like opaque than this does. You obviously have the triple lined waistband here with the waistband being folded over and then having that mesh insert. So with this being a single layer, it just is gonna look like absolutely freaking sheer, but it's actually not. I don't know how else to explain that other than this being like an optical illusion type of situation because the pockets are triple lined, the waistband is triple lined, and then this is one singular layer. So let's just go ahead and test this out with a squat test. 
I don't think we could see my new thong or anything. Yeah, you can see it like right there where my skin is if I really stretch out the fabric, but standing, you can't see the outline or anything like right here. Let's do the Macy's gift card test because you know, damn well this is not gonna pass. Like just heads up, it's not gonna pass. Yeah, clear as day. Yeah, we're not good to go there with um, the Macy's gift card test, but new thong, can't see anything. I'm cool with the new thong. I'm so comfortable wearing this to the gym seeing as I have, but you guys let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I almost skipped doing the squat test for black because I just feel like black is a given that it's gonna be opaque, but I obviously know that that isn't true. <laughs> it just depends on like the fabrics and whatnot, but I just never think about it because I'm like, oh, it's black, it's, it'll be fine. We're just gonna test it anyway. Also, black is fitting just a little bit more snug than the other colors are, and I think it's literally just because the dye is a little bit darker. I would still say to stick true to size or size down if you're in between. Let's go ahead and do a squat test for you guys guys in black yeah like we're good to go there and then macy's gift card i'm stretching this with all my might the sticker is right here i don't know why i'm squatting like this yeah i don't think we can see anything so happy camper there about black. Last rec stretch bottoms I have are the Empower Sculpt Scene Plus pocket leggings in the color coconut size extra small. Again, I also have her in the color black, which does fit ever so slightly more snug than this color does just because it's a darker dye. But again, I would still say to stick true to size or size down if in between. Love how these look. They are literally just the shorts, but in legging form. It also has the two pockets on the side, super silky soft and can fit a huge iPhone. This is what the length is looking like on me. So still sitting at a 7 8 length. Let's go ahead and do a squat test for coconut. I think this is, I mean, along with black, the most squat proof color that we have here. Okay, that's like when I'm actually pulling at it, but I don't think we can actually see it right here, guys. So let's squat <laughs> and then we will truly see. Okay, so we can see it a little bit, but if you wear a nude thong, then you will be just fine. All right, that takes care of all of the rec stretch pieces. So now we're moving on to the new cloud rib. Once again, this fabric is extremely thin, lightweight, low support, low compression. <laughs> like it truly is just laying on you. The outer layer being like this ribbed fabric, it feels a little bit brushed, like ever so slightly brushed, but the inside of this is gonna be on the sleeker, smoother side and it does feel quite cooling overall, but I feel like these pieces are gonna be used more so for lounging and athleisurely versus for actually working out. Like I don't see myself working out in this fabric because I don't really gravitate towards ribbed fabrics for like my gym wear. That's just like my personal preference. I will let you guys decide how you want to wear these pieces, but vital crop. I feel like this is modeled very similarly to the Rec Stretch classic crop, but obviously it's different because of the ribbed texture, but the bottom is super, super stretchy, just like the classic crop is. I feel I feel like this is a little bit shorter than the classic crop because that one hits me like right above my belly button whereas this is like a long line bra like a true long line bra if anything the shelf bra underneath geez that's like very stark removable cup pads clearly but I feel like this neckline is a little bit on the more narrow side if your chest is typically sitting like wider set if that makes sense you might have some side boob here like I'm having just a little bit of armpit fat here and a little bit of side boob actually but it's not to a point where I'm like ruling this top out because I do think that the cut is is rather cute has a high neck with this rib detailing that goes along these sleeves as well and then the sleeves are low enough to where I don't feel any sort of like digging in at all obviously like there's a lot of good stretch here too this top is extremely like low support low compression I'm bouncing everywhere and this top you guys solely wearing this athleisurely it's just gonna be like pretty much the same silhouette in the back as it is in the front except for it covers a lot more of your lats I don't experience any sort of digging in at all like it truly is just laying on my body I would stick true to size for this top but if you have larger boobs, I would actually say to size up so you have more like side boob coverage. Next up, I have the Defy bra in high dive size extra small. I also got it in pool side and in a size small to compare, you know, what that looks like. This bra is a little bit more fun, a little bit more different than what we're used to with Paragon Fit Wears silhouettes, I feel. I don't typically see like open back sports bras from Paragon Fit Wears, so it's a little bit different. I'm here for it. But this is a short lined sports bra with an elastic
stick at the bottom band to give you that lift and give you that support. It also has a rather like high neck in my opinion, a little bit more coverage for those who want the type of coverage in the front at least. I would say that this neckline is a little bit more on the narrow side. Like if this was any higher, it would have been giving bib. Definitely is giving me like a moderate to medium support in a size extra small at least. I could go running in this bra and I feel like I would be just fine, especially because again, the fabric on the inner lining is on the more cooling side, whereas it really is just the exterior that has like ever so slightly a little bit of brushness to it. Straps are matching the edges right here as well, which I think is super seamless. It looks really cute. I will say though, in a size extra small, I have a little bit of like armpit fat hanging out here, which I don't necessarily like, but there's no digging in at all. It kind of dips lower on the side as well. So nothing is digging up my armpits. And there's a good amount of stretch in these straps as well. Although on the inner portion of the strap, there is a seam there. So there's definitely like a stopping point to the stretch once you get to a certain point. Having it just sit on your shoulders like this, there's no digging in for me personally. And then turning to the back, we have have a super open back. These straps cross and then meet at that bottom band right there. And I think that this looks so, so cute. I think it'll be the perfect bra for like an upper body or back day. The only thing is that I wish we had adjustability. I just don't understand why the bras don't have adjustability, but that would have been like the missing piece from this bra. Otherwise though, I do think it is super cute. I could truly go either between an extra small or a small, but I do prefer how this fits because I just feel a little bit more held in. If you're wanting this more for comfort or like a low impact day, then you could feel free to size up if you're in between sizes and you'll be just fine. Again though, otherwise, stick true to size. Next up, I have the Cloud Rib Original Sculpt Seam 5 inch short and again, pool side size extra small. First and foremost, I feel like we can already kind of see like stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'll turn to the back here in a second, but the silhouette should look very familiar because all of the rec stretch shorts or Luna shorts have pretty much the same like design with the super thick high-waisted waistband that is double lined. So there's no top seam at all. The leggings and shorts on me are extremely low compression. Like you really could size down. There's a lot of room, a lot of forgiveness here, guys. Like this is not made for medium impact workouts in my opinion like it is just so lightweight and low compression that I just can't see it really being used for anything other than low impact activities or for like errand running and whatnot it is very like comfortable though I feel held in without anything like slipping around sliding at all five inch inseam although it feels a lot shorter in my opinion I don't know why but I just feel like these are more reminiscent of like a four inch inseam just me squatting twice dude like this has ridden up all the way up past the largest part of my thighs. This is how it was looking normally. So I'm just confused how this inseam is sitting on me because it just feels so much shorter than it actually is. Yeah, one squat, two squat, three squats. Bruh, like it is folding in on itself. That is insane. I'm just not really, I just don't really like this fabric. This level of quality and the sheerness is not worth $56 in my opinion. It's way too thin. It's kind of flimsy. It's freaking sheer. Like, let me just, where's that tag? There it is. Bruh. And this is just me standing straight. You can literally see the tag right there, let alone me freaking squatting in this. But this does have sculpt seam. So once again, it doesn't look like there's a scrunch at all, but there's a hidden elastic on the inner portion of this. So whenever you put it on, it just gives you a little bit of glute separation without that like wedgie fit. So I will say it is flattering from the back, but my biggest issue is just gonna be that freaking sheerness. Let me just do this squat test. I feel like everything is on display. All right, Macy's gift card. Bruh. Yeah, that is crazy. Oh my goodness. I feel like the ribbed material of this as well, like whenever you stretch it out, it does run sheer. Just getting up close and personal. But as you can see, whenever I'm stretching this out, you can see that like through the ribbing, there's like a little bit of sheerness in between the lines. Does that make any sense? Like you can see, oh yeah. That's my whole hand. Yeah, not a big fan. All right, friends, last but not least, the Cloud Rib Original Sculpt Seam Legging in high dive size extra small. It's literally just the shorts, but in legging form. And this is what the inseam length looks like on me. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this leg opening is like huge. I feel like there's a little bit of like excess material right here where it's just not fitting me correctly. And these leggings run pretty big. Like this waistband is doing absolutely nothing it is so big you guys like that is 
insane. Obviously, low compression, low support, all of that. Like, even the body of these leggings, it's not really doing anything to suck me in. It's just kind of laying on me. So I feel like you definitely need to size down regardless of whatever size you are. Just size down a size. And you can actually already see that it's not really, like, staying put in my glutes. There's a little bit of space here. I feel like it's just running a little bit big. So let's go ahead and do a squat test for you guys with a new thong. I literally already feel it writing down. Okay, I'm not gaping, but I do feel the leggings already sliding down. And again, the material on the inside is not this ribbed fabric. It's this kind of like silky smooth cooling performance fabric. So whenever you have that against your skin, I feel like it's bound to slide down. Although Rex Stretch doesn't do that, so I don't know. But let's go ahead and do the squat test for you guys with the Macy's gift card. You can kind of see the outline a little bit right there, but um, I couldn't see anything with a nude thong though. And again, that's what I'm wearing. So stick with a nude thong and I feel like you'll be just fine. Yeah. Alrighty, friends. Last but not least, we have the strappy sculpt seam short suit in cloud rib, not rec stretch, size extra small. I had the color crush here as well as mega. This definitely grew on me. It took a it took a little bit because I wasn't the biggest fan of like how the back looked because it's just so freaking high. But it did grow on me because I do really like how this neckline is, where it's just kind of like this wide U shape. It's definitely low compression though. Like <laughs> nothing is digging into me whatsoever. I have a ton of room. Room, a ton of stretch in my true size extra small and this does come with a built-in shelf bra with removable cup pads and what's super nice about this though is that the shelf bra actually has the pads kind of like sewn into their respective areas so it doesn't you know go from one side to another which I really really like they actually have that for the vital crop as well which I forgot to mention before I love me that little detail although the shelf bra I don't know if you guys can see but it's actually like way down here so the actual elastic at the bottom of the shelf bra doesn't end where my bust ends. It's actually like a solid inch and a half underneath so it's kind of like sitting in the middle of my rib cage which I find to be so weird because I don't know like this isn't really giving me any sort of lift. It does have the same strap design as the Defy bra does. Has a little seam running down the center right here to separate the top from the bottom and then the bottom also has an insane amount of stretch just like the shorts did. Straps have a good amount of stretch in there as well although again they're not adjustable which is such a bummer if it had the same strap design as the defy bra with the crisscross in the back and then just made them adjustable i don't know i feel like that would have been such a cuter design i'm not like the biggest fan of this i feel like the back fabric right here is not really cinching into my body you know what i mean it's a little bit wrinkly down here it's a little bit loose as well because this is also equipped with sculpt seam if you actually make this sit up your glutes and give you glute separation then the material up here is like super baggy does not cling onto you at all and it's just not a flattering fit. So in order for this to truly be like flush against your body, this has to be like all the way down like this where you're having zero separation. You're having straight up uni butt. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they definitely have had major upgrades to their short suits from what they launched last year in Flex Sweat, I believe. I do like the short suit overall. Like I can definitely see myself wearing this again with some like white chunky sneakers, a little like white button up off the shoulder with a little tote bag to go running errands. For sizing, whatever size that you typically get for jumpsuits, I would actually say to just stick with that size because this top portion for me fits just fine. I'm typically an extra small in jumpsuits and I find that that this wrinkling in the back is just more so like a design thing versus like a jumpsuit running big type of thing. And if you're typically in between sizes, go with the smaller size because this material is just like really, really stretchy. Oh, let's go ahead and do a squat test for this because I've already done a squat test for this colorway, but this might show up differently in a different fabric, so. Here's your squat test. So there you have it. Yeah, you can see that pretty clearly in this fabric at least, so. New thong all the way. Last but not least, wanted to show you guys what Mega looks like in the short suit. Like this color, I mean, this and Crush are just so insanely bright. I feel like you can tell a lot more what this shelf bra situation is. I feel like you can actually also see it running a little bit sheer underneath because the shelf bra is its own layer. So you can kind of see my skin peeking through right there underneath the shelf bra. This elastic band is like in the middle of my rib cage. It's so strange. I'm like, I need you to be way up here to give me a little bit of like lift, but no, it goes all the way down. And the cup pads as a result are like absolutely massive as well. So they actually are spanning 
the entire length of this area. Squat test for mega cloud rib. I actually think we're good to go with a nude thong here, but let's try the Macy's gift card test. I don't even have to squat. You can literally see it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy with the Macy's little gift card. So already friends, that is gonna be it for this video. We started with a short suit and we're ending with a short suit. But I really, really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all and I will definitely make sure to get you squared away prior to launch. Heat Wave launches on Thursday, May 2nd at 1 p.m. Central Time or noon for early access. And again, you definitely want to sign up for early access. Here are my top picks, anything Rex I think that like my number one like must have pick from this entire collection are gonna have to be the Rec Stretch Empower six inch shorts because they fit like a glove. They're some of the most functional performance shorts that I've ever worn and I love wearing them to the gym and out. It's just gonna be a staple in my closet as Rec Stretch shorts normally are anyway. Otherwise though, as you guys already know, Code Tracy saves you 10% off on launch day, supports me as well in my relationship with the team. Thank you so much in advance for your support. Definitely follow me over on Instagram at TracyBFit where I'll be running a Q&A prior to launch and I am also doing a giveaway. I've been doing giveaways with Paragon Fitwear for the past couple of launches now um, where I'll pick two winners to each win a $50 gift card to shop the launch. So if you haven't already, definitely follow me, enter the giveaway, do all the things. Hopefully one of you guys can win those gift cards. But until then, subscribe, all the jazz, and I will talk to you guys later. So bye.